Hey guys, here welcome back to Ruby JPD. When I left off, we ended up finding a bit more about Neo, and we saw one of her true smiles that was as sweet as her namesake. That said, let's begin. Sunday, day 147. Maybe it's finally time for the rescue operation. Too many uncontrolled variables. Osman was to be expected, and yet, he's the... He's the one who's given us no trouble at all. Our cover as a transfer student does work admirably. None of the staff has even given us a second glance. The biggest annoyance so far has come from the students. First years to boot. Yeah, you're talking about me, aren't you? I don't blame you. I can be quite annoying. Team Ruby has gotten in the way of the operations in Vale time and again. And of course, one of them should be tied to the White Fang. Now that f now that the focus has moved to Mountain Glen, though that's a n that's nipped in the bud. I've never never understood that term. Should be nipped in the butt, not nipped in the bud. But it sounds like it sounds like you're talking about a flower. But what do I know, huh? <laughs> and Team JPDE or Team Jade. I thought I could use them and their semblances, but. I may have overplayed my hand. I wanted them to kill a gargantuan, a gargantuan grim, to free the smaller ones from its influence and to attract more towards Beacon, but they actually went and destroyed those too. They became suspicious. The other silver lining is that I know more about them also, ruin their own operations, but I need to be careful now. So not to make our interests mutually inf exclusive. Which may as well already be, as all I know, I should have researched them more before. Unbecoming. M my lady Look at yourself. Didn't you tell me you could accomplish this? Yet here I find you, obsessing over your lack of control. No plan survives first contact, my lady. And obsessing over the details, especially those out of my control, has always served me well. Hmm, <laughs> indeed it has. To what do I owe this honor, my lady? Have I displeased you in some way? Not at the moment, no. But think. Something has come up, and I I would have you look into it. Leave Janara out of this. Ah yes, I'm still looking like Jogwick, and I love it. There we go. Another full charge. Thanks, big bro. Who? Bella, what's wrong? N nothing wrong, exactly. It's just, I never had ever got this much ore in me before. It feels a little bit... I feel a bit like overreacting. Oh, I see. Hopefully you don't throw up then. That'd be a waste. Kenshi. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, Kenshi. Titania, what's wrong? Have you seen Janara? Maybe, maybe when you got off the bullhead? Can't say I have. Ugh, of course. Darn it. Titania, what happened? Why are you looking for Janara? Because this. A piece of paper? What? Is she crazy? Hmm? Oh god, Janara, what have you done? Oh god, Janara, really? So, I heard you've been asking about me. You. I'm Janara, and you're Osbin, the headmaster, right? Yes, I am. 
You want to hurt me or something? Hurt? No! Okay, then what do you want with me? Nothing. Nothing in particular. I just like to talk. Talk. Alright, sounds doable. But not here. I don't trust you. I understand. Where then? And when? Let's say we meet in Vale next Sunday, 10am. In Vale? But... What's wrong with Vale? Just... your appearance. Oh that! Already tried, just think of me as some kind of faunus. I see. No problem then. Of course not. I gotta go now. I hear someone coming. Yes, that's understandable considering you're... you... anyway. I'll see you next week. That's what we said. Ciao! Did she seriously say ciao? Ozpin! Are you alright? What happened? I just had a strange visitor. Through the window, I noticed. Did they leave? What did they t call? Why didn't you call for help? There was no need. They weren't threatening. I'm not helpless. And more importantly, I confirmed that our mysterious Janar is no, is no way tied to Salem. You mean... It was the girl who that, yes. Also, it seems I got invited to a play date. Yeah, that's that sounds right. You what? Do you understand? A young girl who resembles you in appearance. She also appears to be a magic user. And to have attacked Gamora in Bartio Forest. You have a lead in mind. I suggest you pursue it. Milady. Pursuing it may ca cause me to come into contact with out of control details. Uh oh. Milady. I'm thinking. She's thinking? Well, she was once mortal, and she she considers herself basically... I'm not sure what you consider her. I, I wouldn't consider her a goddess. I consider her more of a demigod, because she is technically influenced by the god of darkness due to, all, due to the grim essence inside of her. Tread carefully. Your mission takes priority. As you wish, my lady. She had to think about... What takes priority? Who is this girl? A potential daughter, perhaps? That would be an interesting thing to look th look through. Janara, are you out of your goddamn mind? No need to shout. Why are you shouting? Hmm. Fair enough. Oop. You needed a distraction, so I got, got into the vault and helped to get into the vault and help Amber. Now you have it. What are you upset about? Don't even try to shrug this off. If you seriously thought this wasn't going to be a big deal, you haven't e you haven't ever done it behind our backs. It's it wasn't in the end. He didn't attack me or anything. He just wanted to talk. He agreed to meet in the middle of Vale. He's not a threat. Janara, I understand you want to help Amber, but that's not an evaluation. An evaluation you can do on your own. That's not an evaluation any of us can do. Why? Because we don't know enough about him. What little we know about him doesn't inspire trust. More importantly, we know nothing about his semblance. We understand that you want to help and you picked a public place. But what if, if it doesn't imp impede him? What if he agreed because even a public place with a crowd not... And an obstacle if he wants to abscond with you, for instance. I I understand what you mean, but I needed to do something. Amber needs our help, doesn't she? This is our best chance we have. Tysnia, Kenshi, I understand you're worried, your worries, but she's right. Okay, what it's worth. 
I don't think Osmond's interest in Janara is nefarious. But I feel it's personal. You're not meeting him unchaperoned. Professor Peach will need to distract Miss Goodwitch. We need Penny to get into the vault and Jack to show us... Show me and Bella inside. Tysonia, you and Evelyn will have to keep an eye on her. And Thea will, will help. I'm sure of it. <sighs> Jack won't be happy. Let me give her the call. She won't be. I see. Yeah, I agree. In this situation, the best thing we can do is roll with it. Yeah. Be sure to tell Professor Peach as well. I'll be back by 8pm. Trouble in paradise? Maybe. But it is a part of our lives you're not you're not a privacy to yet. Hmm. I think you'll reconsider that once you hear what I've got for you today. Someone's confident. So, you didn't tell ask me here just for ask me out. And I'm the confident one. As I said the first time, it'll go for people younger than me, anyway. Actually, information considers Wiser Van Gogh, a little piece of information that I think will make all the difference about Wiser. What you've told me, you only have but ten partial information about his semblance. I've given you some about his recent past, but you know absolutely nothing about his beginnings. Now, will you say I told you that I can shed some light on that? Alright, can't say that I'm not interested. Since we discovered that Wise has been planning all this since the last... Well, no, sorry. <laughs> has been planning all this at least since he was a student in Beacon, his motives and plans must be tied to his past. Probably. So what is this information worth to you? I think I'll tell you what we've discovered about Peak. Time to get involved in our troubles, Miss Lavender. So I can get further interested in it and dig up some more, some more information for you, huh? Clever girl. Wait, is this version of Lisa, um, Lisa... I think her name is Lisa Lavender, I think? But I'm pretty sure, is she bi or straight or gay? Like, I think it's... I'm not sure because she's only shown a couple of times... Like, I think she's only been shown once in Ruby and since then she's been a part of... Like, the entire world, even though she's probably only been shown, like, once. Well, at least now we have a plan, and Osmond should behave. What was that? I mean, it's not like I've, I've ever thought that Osmond would actually hurt a child. Still, he has interest in Janara is, I don't trust the guy, and anything that interests him in a personal manner will, when he keeps his calculated distance from everyone, everything else... Jara makes this guy tick, and I don't, be I can't begin to understand why. More than what he, sh he could do, what worries me is what he, we should, what he could say to her. Only explanation I can think of is that Osmond somehow knows the person Janara is mo modelled after. But if that's true, then how come he doesn't know anything about the boss? Ah, uh, the question just keeps popping up, doesn't it? Don't they? I wish some answers came, came our way already. Bold, being full of openings in front of a sniper. Oh, hi, May. I mean, May, not my. <laughs> How have you been there, May? Long enough for you to... Ch ch long enough for the chocolate to start getting cold. Oof. It has... Hasn't it? Damn it! Let me buy you a new one. I wanted to talk to you anyway. Oh nonsense! I'm buying. So done letting other people p pay for my food and mishaps. What? What do you take? Hmm. In that case, mocha, please. Hmm. She doesn't really talk much in the series, so I wouldn't know what she sounds like. So. What was on your mind? You know, the mystery that showed, showed up in front of us. With no answer in sight. Just conjectures and hip hypothesis. At least it's not a cause for immediate danger this time. I guess that's a bonus. But that's the thing with the unknown. 
You never know when it may turn into danger. Don't I know it? Anyway, you said you wanted to talk to me. What about? Remember when I told you that I would cash in on that favour sooner rather than later? You need to help with something? Also, why didn't you want to talk to Jack then? She's our leader. She is, but you're the person who made the offer in person. Anyway, it's not something immediate, but for the future. I see. So what is it? Hmm. A hunt. A hunt? You help hunting? What exactly? A grim. Just one? Just one. I need to know more. Sure. You'll probably know by now that hunters and students get, ass get assignments sent on missions. Some are long term, some are short term. Most are organised by the Kingdom's Hunters co Coordination Structures. But some are private requ requests. Now, do you know what kind of mission private citizens request the, the most? No, I don't. Corpse, tags and or heirloom retrieval. Even without the Grim, we had a world war not long ago. Not too long a time ago. Most of the people who went to fight in it didn't have aura. Those who didn't return are, are even more nefarious. Numerous. Not nefarious. <laughs> I see. They had relatives, of course. Parents, spouse, children. Many are still alive today, while the last spoils of their loved ones slowly crumble away into some forgotten battlefield on, rem on Remnant. The Grim I Need to Hunt is so- The Grim I Need to Hunt haunts one such battlefield, the west of Vale, at the border of Vacuo. A territorial Grim? Is a gigantuan Grim? Like- Like the- Like the Gamera? I just realized that the Gamera is basically based off the, you know, the famous Japanese kaiju monster Gamera. You know, the one that was basically a giant turtle. I can't believe I just realized that. I'm so stupid. <laughs> Class-wise, it, it's a gigantuan grim, able to influence smaller one to do its bidding. But it's not as big, even if it's just as dangerous, maybe more. And you know this grim from, from personal experience? No. I wish to compile a brief regarding, regarding the Grim if you accept to help me. In short, what I want your team to do is choose a comfort retrieval mission without bringing you, that will bring you to Vodurum on the day of your final exam. I see. And then you and your team will meet us there? No, just me. My team has no reason to follow me on this fool's errand. Not even scholarly. Vacuo students get their credit for the final exams during the year. This is personal, but I can't do it alone. I understand. Talk, talk about it with your teammates, and let me know your answer. Or and maybe after you help, how how could we not return the favor? You're very kind, but you should discuss it anyway. This is going to be a dangerous and there's no one to save us there. This is a res this isn't a rescue mission. This is pure selfish revenge. Revenge. If any of you know Neebs Gaming, then you know that's from one of the earlier episodes of of Arcs of Valley Evolved back when, you know, back before they did the whole cinematic thing. Revenge. Ooh. Oof. He still hasn't gotten over it. Nope. Hmm. I thought Mr. Bob would have stopped any kind of self-destructive behavior. But maybe its grim instincts have taken over his survival instincts because of Andrea's current state of mind. Still, I kind of love to start sleeping in that room again. Any ideas? Oh, I'll just talk to him. 
to your funeral, Wiser. Just so you know, if you do die, I will leave a single flower on your grave. And then I'll pee and I'll piss on, on your tombstone. What? Don't you give me that weird look. I hate the guy. Talk to him? Hmm. I feel a certain affinity for Andrea. Situation, and I think it's re relatable to, with help to diffuse this, his foul mood. Just give me a few minutes. What could possibly have in common? Go away. I'll kill you. Oh, I'm sure you'll give it your best shot. Problem is, my summons is quite similar in scope to Miss Demrot's new one. <clears throat> oh, crazy eyes. It can alter your body's movement without you even being able to do anything about it. Leave you completely helpless and powerless. A perfect counter to yours. I'll never, never felt so humiliated. Oh, don't be ridiculous. Of course you have. What? There's a singular original particular time that made you discover hate. That made you decide that nothing matters more than proving yourself superior. Of course you didn't ask for the opportunity to do so. To drop into your lap. So, rushly but... Rashly but... What could you have... You do other than take it. If you hadn't, someone else would have... You... How do you... I've been there, Andrea. I never suffered such excruciating setbacks, true. That's because I've never fell into com complacency as you have. Venting venting on yourself and the wall is useless. Charming as this bloodstained crack in the plaster may be, what you need to do is progress and move forward. Have your second realization. Which... Which realization? Tell me... Oh, shut the fuck up, Bob! It's simple, Andrea. The realization you need to come to is... That obsessing over them was useless to begin with. Huh? The sole fact that you could, you could prove yourself superior so easily, so early, is proof enough that they were beneath your, your notice to begin with. But growth isn't ex exclusive to us. Potential, great as it may be, must be constantly sharpened and tested to be proved, brought to the full fruition. Not to prove yourself to others, not to prove yourself superior, your superiority, but to actually be superior. Be superior? This is omni level. This is omni man levels of of superiority. He's talking about here. Ugh. Yes, just stand alone atop top of the world. But well, I wouldn't mind the company on some like minded individuals. What's life without stimuli, I say? Ha 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 Can... Can you show me the road to the top, boss? Uh-oh. I don't like this. Not one bit. This... This didn't help at all. I'm nowhere closer to guessing at, at Wise's motives or plans than I was before. He's just too different. I'm a normal person. I love my family. I love my friends. And generally don't desire harm on anyone unless they become my enemies. And even then... Hmm. Oh, that was pretty. That was a pretty short thing. How can I begin to understand someone... Who's damned his own hometown? What? Oh, God, he didn't, did he? He's the one who caused the fall of peak. Oh, God. All right. Well, guys, I'm going to end this video here. If you like what you saw, like, comment, and subscribe. It's Jeff, and I'm out of here. See ya.